For this program, I'm going to show you how to code the yes, no, if statement. I'm doing this one in jdoodle. You can do it in jdoodle or in Repolit. First thing I'm going to do is bring in my scanner technology. That'll allow us to bring in any input from the user. We'll call this one yes, no. And now that we're going to have some if statements, we're going to have more curly braces. So you're going to have to comment these closing two. And step one, create our variables and objects. And this one creates a new scanner object named input. Remember to save and compile. And for a string, I might call this one, uh, since we're getting user input, maybe user input. You can do something shorter if you want. And I think those are the only two ones we'll need for right now. Step two is going to be get our inputs. And the first thing we need to do is pose a question to the user. This is the example question I think I had on the canvas. Do you like pizza? So the user's input is going to be stored here based on what they type into the text box. And next line gets text. So this gets text or a string from the user. Remember, strings in our world are just text that we can use to record anything from the keyboard. Step three is going to be to perform our math, but we're not uh, doing any math here, or perform logic. So our if statement might look like this. If user input dot equals, and since we're comparing text or strings, which is what the user's typing in, we're going to use the word equals instead of an equal sign. Now, this is cool also. You can just use equals, but we could also type in capital ignore, capital C case, and it won't matter if what they type in is capitalized or not. So that's a nice time saver, and it just prevents errors from happening uh, based on user input. For instance, if someone typed in capital Y, yes, instead of lowercase yes, that could cause a difference, but now it won't. So now we have two new curly braces. I'm going to indent here 
And indentations are done just to make things easier for us to read. So we have the opening if statement brace. And you can do a shorter comment on these, but I'm going to ask you to comment the curly braces. And examples of shorter ones are available on Canvas. So if this is true, meaning if they say yes, then we can have some output in here. Pizza is wonderful, something like that. Or if you have a different appreciation for pizza, you could put that in there. So this is an if statement right here. Now what's also cool is step four is always display outputs. But this, uh, this has this already. That's our output right there. So in this case, because we may get one or two different outputs, I'm going to combine those steps, for now at least. Now I'm going to copy this one. You can type, type it from scratch. And a way I might abbreviate these is to do like if2, since this is my second if statement. And this could be if2. So now at the end of our program, we're going to have at least three curly braces. But I need to change this to be no. Zones are better, but I'm being very non-committal there because that's just a taco pizza. All right, so let's test this. I'm gonna make that interactive. Hit execute. <laughs> oh my gosh! I made an error, and that error is we need extra parentheses right here. So if you notice, we have an opening parenthesis here and the closing one I just added. And I had mistaken this parenthesis for the closing one when it really goes to that. So let me try it again. Do I like pizza? Yes, I like a pizza. So I've got to test it both times. No, I don't. And next week, we will hook ourselves up so we have a default in case someone enters. Maybe, but not today. And then nothing happens because we don't have anything to account for that. But that's something to worry about next week. <laughs>